Hi there, my name is Cynthia Veronica, and as you may already know, I have a four-year-old son who has achondroplasia, which is the most common form of dwarfism. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about clothes for kids with achondroplasia. So if you are a parent of a child who is a little person, you know that finding clothes that fit really is a struggle and a challenge most of the time. So in this video, I'm going to give you six tips of what has worked well for my son. I'm also going to put links in the description bar below so you can check information out there as well. So the first tip is clothing lines for little people. So there are clothing lines that make clothes specifically for kids with achondroplasia. Ollie and Bo is one of them. It's a um, company that's actually based out of Montreal. They actually have shirts and pants that are specifically made to fit children with achondroplasia. And the neat thing is that the sizing is based on age, so you really don't have to guess. Um, so they just have suggested sizes of, you know, two, two to three year old um, and so on and so forth. Little Dreamers is another clothing company that makes clothes specifically for children with achondroplasia. Um, this company is actually geared towards LP girls. For older LPs, there is a store called One Stone Clothing. This looks like it's more geared towards um, shirts that are um, better sized for LPs. Zappos actually just recently started a small sizes page. And this is actually geared towards adults that are looking for smaller uh, sizes, for clothes that come in smaller sizes. I have actually also seen on Shark Tank um, uh, a company called M. Taylor. They actually have an app. It provides men with custom-made shirts that you basically, all you need is your phone. The app actually measures you. Um, you basically just stand a few feet apart from your phone um, and it prompts you to turn around and, and it actually takes your measurements that way. So it actually makes clothing that's supposed to fit you a little better. And I don't think it's as expensive as a custom made shirt, um, but I'm also not exactly sure how well this works. So I'm actually just gonna put a link to the Shark Tank video in the description bar so you can check it out, it's pretty interesting. Okay, so my second tip is shirts with buttons on the side. Because acons tend to have larger heads, it's really hard to find t-shirts with the wide enough opening at the top for their head to fit through. I have found certain brands with shirts with buttons on the sides, and these have actually worked really well for my son. One of the brands that is my go-to is Uniqlo. Um, they actually have a variety of shirts with um, buttons on the side. The only thing I'll say about this is it tends to be just casual wear. So if you're looking for a good casual shirt, Uniqlo is a pretty good brand for that. Bowden is another brand that I really like. Um, they tend to have one to two buttons on the side of the shirts. And these are, you know, it, it's short sleeve shirts, um, long sleeve shirts and sweaters. It comes in a variety of styles. and. This brand I actually think is one of my favorites because they do have a good variety of very stylish shirts. Katamini is another brand that I really like and I like their shirts. They're pretty cute and creative um, style-wise. So this is another brand that is one of my go-tos. Also, I find that shirts like Lacoste, for instance, with the buttons in the front still aren't wide enough for my son's head. So. Um, having these three brands that I just mentioned has been really useful. So my third tip is cuffed pants. So pants tend to be quite the challenge for my son, especially as he has gotten older. My grandma has hemmed pants for him in the past, which is great, but it's actually really nice to just find something off of the shelf that works and that's ready to wear. And that's when I found that pants with cuffed bottoms tend to work really well for Sebastian. So I found a few PJs from the Disney store with this feature. I also noticed that Gap is another brand that has a lot of casual wear pants, sweatpants with cuffed bottoms, and these have worked great. 
So Sebastian is currently four years old and he wears cuffed pants from Gaps that are size 2T. Um, and this has actually fit really well, not just um, lengthwise, but also um, around his waist. And it's nice because I don't have to do any modifications to them. Okay, so my fourth tip is getting some loops on your pants, undies, and socks as well. So my sister's mother-in-law has been amazing. She loves Sebastian and she's actually sewn loops um, on his pants and also on his underwear just to help him get pants and underwear on and off more easily. She was actually so kind to actually make a YouTube video of her doing this as well. So it's an instructional video that I will post in the description bar below so you can check it out. And it's just been really great seeing him gain independence um, and dressing himself and using those loops for more ease and being able to do that and do a lot of things for himself. Um, another thing that I've purchased online is um, Easy Socks and these are actually just socks with loops and they've actually also been really helpful in him just being able to put his own socks on. Um, they're not super tight, which is nice. I find that brands that are you know, tighter um, tend to be more difficult to, for him to put on. So these are loose socks with loops on the ends that he can easily put on and take off independently. My fifth tip is vests. Jackets can be very tricky for kids with achondroplasia. They are usually oversized and bulky and the sleeves are always just way too long. So for my son, vests have been great. Whatever size I buy for him, I notice that it just seems to last a long time. Sebastian has had vests now that he's had for a couple years that actually fit him fine. Plus it doesn't get too cold where we live, so it's on average 65 degrees all year round. So what works really well is for him to just wear um, during the winter months a long sleeve shirt and a vest over it and he's fine. And it's just a great substitute for a jacket. My sixth tip is wearing larger undies. Okay, so for my son, um, one thing that has really worked well in terms of him being independent when using the bathroom is wearing one size larger or just slightly looser. So um, instead of his undies being super tight, um, I, I got it so that, not that it's so loose that it falls off, but it's just loose enough for him to be able to take off and pull on, go to the restroom all on his own without me having to, to help him with that. So it still fits him fine and he just doesn't have to struggle. Hey guys, before I sign off, I have one other really quick tip. I can't believe I didn't think about this before, but one other thing that has worked really well for me is actually getting hand-me-downs from other parents of little people. So whether it's just people that I've been in contact with and have developed friendships with, or I've met at different LP events, it's been really wonderful to get these hand-me-downs from them. And Sebastian really enjoys the hand-me-down clothes. So thank you guys for sharing all your um, hand-me-downs with us. We really appreciate it. I wanted to just add in that last bonus tip there. Thanks guys. So those are my six tips. Let me know in the comments section what you've learned throughout your journey. I'd be interested to know. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.